Yo, what is good? So in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to go ahead and turn .exe files that were created with Py installers uh, slash Python into readable Python source code that you can go ahead and use. So yeah, I'm actually pretty excited for this video and enjoy. So what you gotta do is open up a web browser and then you wanna go and search for Py Instructor or just go to the link in the description. It'll lead you right here. And then you guys just wanna go ahead and where you see releases, just go ahead and download the source code and then just go ahead and save it to your downloads folder or your desktop wherever you want next you want to go ahead and go to the link i will leave in the description and then go ahead and go to releases and then find pycdas.exe and just download that again save it to your downloads after you've got your downloads you can go ahead and open up wherever you save them and the pycdas file just drag that to your desktop and then your Pi Instructor, you want to go into the folder and then take the Pi file and just drag it out there. And it'll go ahead and extract uh, wherever you dragged it. Now, as you can see, I have a file called app.exe that was created with Pi Installer. Now, how do I know that? If you open up Detect It Easy, you can go ahead and drag it in and language Python Packer Pi Installer. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a command prompt window and then cd into uh, whatever directory you have your Pine Installer app in and these two files. Personally, they are stored in my desktop, so I'm gonna cd into my desktop. Next, what you wanna do is copy the file name of the Pi Instructor first, and just go ahead and paste that here, and then space, and then copy your app name, app.exe. I'm gonna go ahead and do all the decompiling right here, and then now you can minimize this. Don't close it though, we need it later. And you'll see your app.exe underscore extracted. And right here, this is sort of your source code. Now you have all this code right here and you just wanna go ahead and scroll. Now you'll see a bunch of these .pyc files and you wanna try to find one that seems like it would be the main program. So for me, it is app.pyc. Common ones are like main.pyc, program.pyc, or really whatever your app is actually called. Then from here, what you're gonna do is you're going to open up your command prompt window again, and then you're gonna wanna go ahead and copy your Pydicus file name. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Just go ahead and paste it, space, and then your app.pyc. But the thing is, we are actually not in that directory, so we're gonna have to right click, copy as path, and then go ahead and paste it. There, it's going to go ahead and do all the decompiling. Just give it a minute. And there we go. It has spit out this right here. Now, you're probably thinking, this is not Python source code. And you're right. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and take this and then copy it. But only the uh, source code right here. Copy it. And then we're going to go ahead and open up an AI. Now, I recommend using Groke uh, because it has way bigger message limits. So you can send longer apps. And just say turn this into readable python source code and then give it your code that you copied then go ahead and click enter and there you go as you can see you have successfully decompiled a python pi installer .exe all the way back to its original python source code so i hope you guys did find this video helpful if you did you know leave a like subscribe it'll help me out a lot and yeah peace